Hi. <laughs> um, my name is Sydney, and today I'm going to be reacting to my most viewed YouTube video. Possibly one of my biggest regrets. Um, definitely my most embarrassing moment ever. And uh, it's taken me four years to be able to do this and feel comfortable with this. So today I am going to be reacting to I'm So Lit Right Now, the Sydney McGee remix. Um, here we go. So I'm gonna react to it, kind of talk about the behind the scenes and just a bunch of like rumors that were spread based on this video and all that, so. If for some reason you have never heard of this, back in 2017, July 31st, I posted a video called I'm So Lit Right Now, Sydney McGee Remix. So here's a little background information. Back in this time period, it was like a huge thing for all the really big YouTubers to make diss tracks about each other and just like goofy music videos and all the songs absolutely sucked. And so me and my brother thought like, oh my gosh, this could be a way to go viral. Let's make like a really crappy, funny song and just like make a music video because my brother is a professional videographer and I'm a YouTuber so we can combine. And then we knew a friend who had a friend who could produce the music for me. And the best part is that this song literally is not even mine and everyone is always like, this song sucks. And I'm like, well, I didn't even write it. I did rewrite the lyrics though, so I guess that makes sense. The song is originally by Ao and Teo called Lit Right Now and I decided to remix it. I don't know how we chose the song. I think it was on my playlist for the summer. And then I decided to rewrite the words to just like relate to my life and I thought it'd be like funny and goofy and I knew it was gonna be kind of cringe, but like who doesn't want to just like make a music video? And I was watching a video about Rebecca Black and her story and I feel like mine was kind of similar. What like teenage girl at the time wouldn't want to make like a dope music video of themselves? So that's what we decided to do. I also cannot sing at all, so every single note in this is completely auto-tuned. So those of you ask me for another song, it's never happening. This is a one-time thing. So I've got my gaming headset here and we are going to watch, react, and talk about the behind the scenes. So here we go. Yo, Paige, wake up! Okay, right off the bat, like, my voice. It sounds so bad. Like, not only am I, like, a bad singer, and I'm just talking. I had to record this song a hundred thousand times, I swear. I, like, literally shout out to, like, real artists because this was so difficult. My voice was completely shot because we recorded this part absolutely last. That's why it sounds so bad and raspy. We're getting Taco Bell. I'm so lit. Get up. Paige, get up because- Alright, before we get started, Paige was my best friend at the time. Sorry to Paige, I roped her into this. At the time, I had just turned 16 a couple months before and Taco Bell was like my favorite restaurant because it was super cheap. It was right next to my high school. I just really liked it, so I ate it like every day. I don't really like Taco Bell that much anymore, but you know, it always have a place in my heart. And Jordan McGee's my brother, he made this video, so. I'm so big right now, okay, okay. I w okay, I really want to compare to the Ao and Teo lyrics. Okay, so this is the best part because a lot of people make fun of me for saying, like, your life is so boring, but that's literally the lyrics of the Ao and Teo song. It says, I'm so lit right now, your life is so boring. While you're sleeping on me, I can hear you snoring. So I didn't change any of those words for those of you who thought it was cringy. While you're sleeping on me, I can okay. hear you snoring. Mm. I'm so lit right now, my phone is always wet, wet. Okay, that line. In the original song, it says, I'm so lit right now, my diamond's on that wet, wet. And at the time, I'd seen a bunch of people, like, tweeting, like, oh, my phone's wet. Like, basically, it means you're getting, like, tons of notifications. Um, no one, absolutely no one took it that way. No one understood what it meant. So that's just, like, an unfortunate series of events. Making bids right now, I'm gonna okay. be the best, best. Mm. It actually kind of does... It's kind of catchy. I can see why so many people like got addicted to listening to this and couldn't get out of their head. So that line. Making vids right now, I'm gonna okay. be the Making vids right now, I'm gonna be the best, best. So in the original song, it says making hits right now, I swear we up next, next. So because I was a YouTuber, I just made it into my own thing about making vids, I'm gonna be the best. Here we go. 
So the original says lit up in France and in Europe, but that didn't relate to me because I was 16. So I was like, oh, like I go to Taco Bell all the time and I'm in high school. So that's where that came from. Here comes the biggest mistaken line of 2017. Here we go. Hit my first mill. I understand why everyone did not understand this, and I feel stupid for writing it this way, but I'm not a songwriter. I just rewrote lyrics of a song. So it says, Counting Big Subs. And at the time, I think I had like 100,000 subscribers. That's a lot of people. Like, I was like, oh my gosh, I have a lot of subscribers. Like, that is a lot of people. 100,000 people. And then it was followed by hit my first mill. This had nothing to do with subscribers, and I really should have clarified. I was talking about views. My very first video to ever hit a million views was happening at this time. It had just recently surpassed like 2 million views and I was like freaking out because that had never, I like my most viewed video before that was like 500,000. And so I was so hyped. I was like, we gotta include it in the video. Everyone loves to come back to my channel and comment like still hasn't hit her first mil. It's like, actually I already did because it was million views, not subscribers. But I understand the misconception. Let me also just explain who's in this music video. So over here on the left, we have some friends of mine. And on the right, we have some friends of mine. In the back, we have my sister, one of my best friends. And then my other best friend, Paige, was there. Most people, like all the guys there, like at the time, this kid, Cam, we were not friends. I just told him like, hey, come do this because he slid up on my story. I was trying to get like a ton of people, but it was like midsummer, So everyone was like super busy. And so Cam came with his friends, had no idea what he was getting himself into. I just like tossed him in. And then this is not my husband. And Dallin right here on the right. And I feel like that's the part that gets quoted the most. That's not even me, that's Ao and Tao, so you guys can shout them out for the cringiness if you want. Okay, so here's a little story time. A couple years after the song came out, I got invited to go to the Taco Bell Friendsgiving dinner that's in LA. And one of my friends who has worked with them before invited me to go with her. And so I was like, I talked to like pretty much everyone who's like in the social media Taco Bell world, showed them the song. It was pretty funny. Also, how did I film in a Taco Bell? You may be asking. This wasn't even the Taco Bell I always went to. There was one night right next to my school, but we thought that this one just like looked better. I don't know why I went to this one. I knew the managers pretty much at both the Taco Bells near my house because I went there so often and like I had friends who worked there and stuff. So I kind of just walked in and was like, hey, do you care if we just kind of like make a music video? And like, it may not look crazy, but we had a full on setup. We had a full speaker going full blast, a bunch of lights, like a full production. And then my brother had a huge camera rig going. Like it was like a legit thing. <laughs> And these people in the background were just eating there. Like they just happened to be there. And I was like, hey guys, we're filming. So everyone just sit on that side of the restaurant. It was actually really fun because everyone was like clapping and hyping me up. And they all thought it was so funny. Like how often are you eating at Taco Bell? Some girl comes in singing some cringy song. So I'm sure it was hilarious for them. And then one of the tables actually ended up becoming friends with the people who sat there because they were from my school. Quesarito, yeah, you the quesarito isn't even on the menu anymore. No sour cream though. At the time, I was posting every single day, so, you know, it just felt fit. The song was literally just supposed to be a parody that fit my life. It wasn't supposed to be, like, a flex on anyone. It's just, like, that was the thing. All the big YouTubers were making, like, videos with, like, really nice cars, really nice houses, like, flexing on people. It wasn't supposed to be, like, a diss or anything, so I feel like that also got taken wrong. Yeah, see, I had 100k. It's clarified right here. Check my subs, 100k. And yet everyone's like, where's your first mil? Like, come on, get with it. So this part, for my real friends, add your handle, because I had a lot of issues in school with like people being like, oh, get, like just put my Instagram in the description. It's really no big deal. Like people only really wanted to be friends with me for my YouTube channel. So that was really annoying. So that's... Where that came from? Comment section so lit like a candle. Yeah, yeah. You trying to hate? Nah, that's a scandal. <laughs> so lit right now. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. I'm so lit right now. Your life is so boring. 
Also, by the way, this was literally filmed at my school. I knew this wasn't a Hellcat. I got a lot of hate from the car guys. This was actually my brother's car. He was like, it's not a Hellcat, but it made the most sense. I think it had something else written in there. I feel like now is a good time to explain this. So let me just start over. Everyone in the comment section is like, oh, this like rich white girl, like she's just like so annoying and she's so rich and da da da, she's flexing out, whatever. I'm not rich. I was not rich. I have connections. Connections can get you anywhere in life. So my brother was like a really big car guy and he was on like all of the car Facebook pages and stuff for my city. And he pretty much knew like all the like car guys in town. A lot of his friends and people that he knew were like, yeah, I'd be happy to come bring my car to be in a music video like that still. So that's where all the really nice cars come from. So the reason we put Hellcat is because it sounded better in the song and we were just gonna go with like whatever car we decided to use. That just like fit the most, but I knew it wasn't a Hellcat. Also the mansion. This is not my house. Um, I don't even know the people who live here. They were friends with like my dad or something. I don't know, somehow my dad knew them, but then also like my brother might have known them. I don't know how it happened exactly. But it's a really nice house. I was so thankful for them for letting us use it because it looks really dope and it does make me look like I'm rich, so I'll take it. <laughs> so the nice cars, free, just from friends. The set, free from friends. Taco Bell, I knew the managers, so I got to film in there. The whole video, I think costs like $700 to make. The lighting kit was like 600, which was like the biggest expense. And back then, like that was the most money I'd ever spent on like anything and I was like $600 like is it really worth it but I guess it was because here we are 8 million views later the person who produced the song for me it did it for like a hundred bucks it was like a homie and they were just like I got you and that took like 10 hours to record and then this took the entire day of filming so Oh my gosh, my voice just sounds so bad. Like, I'm not a singer. And, oh, okay, here's the thing. When I made this, like, I thought, like, all my subscribers know me. They know I'm not some rich, stuck-up girl. They know, like, this is all just, like, a joke and for fun. But then it went, like, mega, mega viral. PewDiePie made a video. We so yeah. so we like that did not even close to rhyme. Love the tune, though. It's hella lit. All right, no. Let's move on. Pretty much every reaction channel had reacted to this video, like dissing me, telling me how trashy I am, da da da, whatever. And you can't really take that offensively because they don't know me. If I were to see this, I'd be like, oh yeah, like I agree. But that's just like not who I am. This was all like a facade just for a fun video. I was obsessed with Mountain Dew at the time. Okay. This was the best part. This was literally my brother and I just thought this was so funny. We were all at the football field at my school and we all just like took turns like doing stupid things for the video. So this is actually my friend uh, singing and I like literally forced her to do this. I like came back, I was in Utah visiting my brother and then I came back and was like, hey, can you just like record this line? I think it'll be funny because we we're absolute best friends. And I was like, it'll just be good if you're in it. This is still my favorite merch ever. Comment down below if I should re-release this merch. Okay, this is the part that gets clipped absolutely everywhere. It's like a GIF and everyone's always posting it. It actually just went viral on TikTok again and everyone hates on me for it. I would too, especially in 2021. In 2017, Dabbing was the thing. Everyone like dabbed. It wasn't like cringy really. It was just like the thing. Literally like probably a month after this came out, it became cringy. So um, we love stuff that doesn't age. And obviously we're not like good dancers. So it just looks stupid. At the time, it was culturally the thing. Gets me every time. When you run out of lyrics. All right, so then we just have the chorus and then the outro. <laughs> the time, like, me and Dallin were, like, friends, and I had a major crush on him, and, like, we were fake dating for views, so we thought this would, like, hype everyone up. But looking back, it's just so awkward. But now we're married, so sometimes it'd just be like that. 
We had to reshoot it so many times too. It was so awkward. So yeah, that is the music video. So now that I've clarified a bunch of things, um, this whole thing was just for fun. It doesn't really represent me well. Also, a lot of people like still come to my channel and they're like, oh, this girl sucks. I've seen her music video. It's like, you're, you really are gonna judge me from when I was 16, I'm almost 20 now. So four years ago, when I was 16, you're gonna judge my entire YouTube channel, life, personality, everything off of this. If everyone were to post their most embarrassing video when they were 16, I think we would all be getting made fun of. Shout out to me for being the one to do it. A lot of people that know me always ask like, how much money did you make on this video? Because it has eight, 0.3 million views. This is my most viewed video on my YouTube channel. So I will pull up the analytics for you guys. Revenue. That's it. Zero dollars. There's nothing because it's not my song. It was a parody. It was just for fun. It's by Ao and Teo. I'm sure they actually made money on this video because there's still ads on it. So yeah, I made nothing. Yay. Just for exposure. And then also the funniest thing is a lot of people think like, oh my gosh, that video ruined your channel. Everyone hates you now. But... This video got me 41,000 subscribers. So I'd say it was a success. And that was the whole point of this video. This video was supposed to be for fun, for exposure, try to go viral. You all just proved me right by watching it. Whether you hated it or loved it, it doesn't matter because that was the, it was like an experiment kind of like, let's see if we have followed the trends that all the huge YouTubers are doing, can I achieve the same thing? And I did, so success. Um, so then following this video, I started to get bullied at school and rumors were spread about me that I was like a horrible person and I was super stuck up and bratty and none of that's true. Like if people don't actually get to know me, but you know, people are always gonna judge. Yeah, so then I slowly uh, started to switch to online school and yeah, and I think it's funny because I go and read comments when people like repost my video, this video places, and there's always comments that are like, oh my gosh, I know her, she went to this school. First of all, half the people don't even get the right school right. Um, I'll just go and say, I went to Kickapoo High School in Springfield, Missouri, and a lot of people are like, oh, everyone hated her. Also, like, not true. Like, I, I feel like I had, like, a decent amount of friends. I had friends in, like, every friend group, but it was all the people who just didn't know me, who just hated me for literally no reason. Like, I, I made a cringy video. Cool. If I were to play everyone's videos that they made in our film class, I think everyone would be embarrassed, so it's literally not just me. But anyway, I don't really care. The past four years was definitely rough as this being, like, the reason that people recognize me and always getting hate comments because of it. But you know, I think every YouTuber kind of has a video like that, that always just brings hate to the channel. At the end of the day, I do not support people who hate for no reason. And usually when I look at the people's profiles, they have no videos, their profile picture is like not even them. They're literally just internet trolls there to tear you down for no reason. So it took me a really long time to get over the fact that literally everyone hated me on YouTube, but I've finally come to the point where I can hear this song and not like run away and get embarrassed because I should be proud of it. I mean, it was something fun I did when I was 16 and I will always have this to show people like, hey, when I was 16, like look how stupid I was, it's so funny. So yeah, at the end of the day, I feel like this video does not represent me very well at all. It was literally just for fun. So if you're watching this to get some insight on how this video actually went down and you want to actually get to know me, then hit subscribe and watch some of my other videos and really get to know me before you make judgments. I always try my best not to judge people based on what I see on the internet because it's just not real. It just isn't. That is me reacting to I'm So Lit right now. Hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> this took so much in me to make this video and I've been putting it off for literally years, but here I am. So yes, I am the I'm so lit right now girl. No, I did not delete my YouTube channel. I changed my name, I got married and my name is Sydney Forsyth now. And I am a normal person. I'm not really weird. Well, I probably am, but anyway. Okay, so maybe give this video a thumbs up and if you really wanna like be cool, you could go give this video a thumbs up because it has 364,000 thumbs downs of people just hating me. Oh, we need to read some comments. Okay, so now I get to show you guys. I feel like people don't realize, but whenever you comment on someone's video, like the person reads it, like it affects their life, you know? So here we are. How do I delete someone else's video? 
Producer, how white do you want this to be? Sydney, yes. She said your life is so boring when she woke up her best friend just to go get Taco Bell. I like my Mountain Dew all flavors. Some of the lines I couldn't have made up even if I tried. Very creative. Sydney, count big subs, hit my first nil. Reality, she looks like she's in Team 10 mini. Anyone else know the Dodge Challenger is an Hellcat? Yeah, at the end of the day, the comments used to bother me. I think the biggest thing was a lot of people were telling me to do self-harm or... You know, and that, like, at the time, I was actually going through, like, my first time ever of, like, feeling depression and social anxiety, and this did not help because literally every comment on any video I posted, I had to turn my comments off for, like, a year because it was literally all just people telling me to do awful things to myself just because I made them, like, uncomfortable by making a funny video, and it made them cringe, so therefore I should just yeet myself. Anyways. That is going to be it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my 20 year old self now, almost 20, react to this video of me when I was 16. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one.